What's up, loopsters? Pice to see you. You got here crust in time. We did a pie challenge. So we are going to be doing the wise pies challenge. Okay, um, I'm leaning towards this. Ooh! Wise choice or not. Ah! Yeah. I had a manicure and pedicure that looked exactly like that. I much prefer getting pie in the face than than stepping into gross pies. I think maybe the worst pie to step into for me was the sardines pie. Can you uh, believe it? This feels like it came from the ocean. Okay, we have ocean pie. If I had to use three words to describe it, it would be slimy, scaly, and uncomfortable. That is not so tasty when it comes to pie. It made me very grateful for shoes and socks because they protect you from things like that. Much like this flawless transition, wisdom protects you from other, you know, scaly, slimy things. So it is a new year, and my word for the year is grace. I feel like I can use a little bit more grace in my life, and I can show more grace to others. And so I picked this proverb from the book of Proverbs. Proverbs 22, 11, easy to remember. One who loves a pure heart and who speaks with grace will have the king for a friend. And that's the proverb I'm going to be living out this year. And it's going to be helpful because it's not always easy to show grace, but the tried and true wisdom from a proverb like this is easy to redirect and course correct so that I can be reminded of my word throughout the year. Another thing I'm trying to do this year is uh, I'm trying to read the books. I own a bunch of books, but I don't read them. Uh, and so I'm going to actually read these books this year, it's gonna happen, and I'm going to be wise with my time, and that's what it's gonna take. Take me taking time and not just, you know, wasting time on the internet, actually sitting down and reading my books. We have a wise choice. So those are all the wise things I'm doing this year, and uh, hopefully it will lead me on a path away from, from gross pies on my feet. <laughs> Let me know which pie was your favorite and um, what's the worst advice that you have ever gotten. Let us know in the comments below. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some books to read, so I will see you next time. Until then, enjoy the ride. I would like to choose a celebrity tweet. A celebrity tweet. Well, Jaden Smith, which is the son of Will Smith, the Fresh Prince himself, yes. once said, the more time you spend awake, the more time you spend asleep. What?